As an undergrad, I was a dual major in computer science and physics. And then in grad school, I was getting a PhD in physics with a specialization in astronomy. I was into uh, pulsars. After a star goes through its normal life cycle of bulging up and then exploding in a supernova, the core collapses down into what's called a neutron star, spinning at the rate of like a blender, and then shooting out giant pulses of light. And so we can see these things flash. And so that's something that's fast enough that most detectors have trouble seeing. So that's something that our detectors were, were better at. I met a number of uh, caption Franciscan friars, uh, the novices. They were just getting started. And they would have a ministry day where they would go and visit uh, various places. And two of the friars each year would come down to my school and have lunch with Catholic grad students. And so I got to see, kind of learn what religious life looked like from them. And I, I found I was jealous of them, that they had this life structured and organized around prayer and service and giving themselves, whereas I was spending all my time in the lab and then prayer was whatever little scraps of time I had left over after watching TV for a while. I, I tend to think there's a few parts to it. One is trusting God, that you can't really see everything clearly, and that was very true for my own life, without developing a very trusting relationship with God, that trusting that God wants the best for each of us, or whatever it is, that whatever he has in mind is going to be the place that we're going to flourish the most. And the second part is, once you're with that, that prayer life, working towards that trusting relationship, gathering information. And then at some point as you're working on all of those, you think about what, what am I really drawn to? What desires has God placed in my heart? And at some point, once you've got as much information as you can get outside, you just have to take the plunge and try it out.